If the ongoing Adderall shortage is impacting millions of Americans, including people right here in southeastern North Carolina. WCT's Mara McJelton spoke to a woman who says she had to wait a week to refill her prescription. A few months ago, Megan Engel was diagnosed with ADHD at 25 years old. She says being able to treat the condition she's been battling her entire life has been life changing. Before, I would have my own ways of coping with um, not being able to like at attend to certain tasks or get things done because I was overwhelmed. Um, and just knowing that I have that medication to kind of relieve that part, I was able to complete tasks on time, able to just like think clearly, honestly. That's like the biggest thing that I've noticed. Engel was prescribed Adderall at the beginning of the year, but getting the medication has been challenging. I think it was like February 3rd and they're like, we can refill it February 17th. And I was like, oh my goodness. So I called my doctor and I was like, okay, do we just stop? Do I try a different medication? Do I go to generic, see if they have generic or do I stay on the brand and just hold treatment for now? Um, and I ended up calling like three or four pharmacies to see if they had it in stock. She says there is a price to pay without the medication, so she's willing to pay a little more so she doesn't have to suffer. I did switch. It actually tripled the cost of it, too, just so I could get it. At least I had like HSA money because I wasn't planning in my budget to spend that. There's been an Adderall shortage for about six months now, and Engel fears that things will only get worse. As I continue on with treatment and the more my body gets used to it, um, knowing that I may have 10 days without it and having to either plan that and be like, OK, I'll take it every other day or I won't take it on the weekends um, stresses me out just because I don't want to plan my life around a medication that. I am prescribed. The FDA says manufacturers have gotten their supply back to normal, but now the demand is far outweighing the supply. And I can't imagine the people who have been very consistently on treatment for ADHD finally like experiencing the shortage too, because it's a, a medication that if you miss a day, it's a very big difference because of just like the effects and how it is used every day. I finally see like differences in my day to day life in a month of taking one simple little medication um, and knowing that I wouldn't be able to get it or I would have to it would struggle to get it was difficult. It's just the beginning of Engel's journey that she hopes gets easier. Mar McJilton, WECT News.